que é a Oh my gosh. Notes, a notes, whiteboard, apps. J, I'm on the J, where is it? What's admin? 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 Hey, JJ. What's going on? Hey, hey, JJ. How you doing, man? Doing good. Good, dude. We're just training for my mom right now. Okay. Sounds good, man. How's your How's day been? Day? How's your day going? Uh, it's going pretty good, man. Um. Yeah, nothing crazy's happened today, so that's nice. That's good. Mm -hmm. What about your day? You had your you had the day off today, right? Yeah. Nice. So, so I'm going I'm going out to work tomorrow, as far as I know. Okay. And, and so I have my duty meeting on Wednesday, and then that's when I find out about my new job, and. So, and that's when I find out when it switched me to my morning position. And so, and so I found out on Wednesday. So I'm excited about that. It's all good, man. You don't need to apologize. I, I didn't apologize. I found, out, I found out on my DM on Wednesday about my new job. Position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I find out on Wednesday about my morning position. Oh, okay. Yeah. To see if. So, are you seeing if you get the job? Yeah, in the morning. Or the morning? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, because I might meet on Wednesday at 10 a.m. with my D worker and my whole team. So, so I. I was at 10 a.m. and so I'm not sure I'll be starting this week or next week. So I'll okay. find out on Wednesday when I'll be starting. And so I'm excited about that. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good, man. Yeah. Yeah. How's your wife doing? Uh, she's doing well, man. She is doing good. Are you still gonna be you're still gonna be able to come to the uh to the retreat? Yeah, I am far as I know I am. Yeah. Um far as I know I am so far. Cause I'm gonna take that day off no matter what. Mm -hmm. And and Cause, are you? There's no like paperwork or anything that we need to like fill out. Um, I mean, um, I just have to fill out a day off request form, a day of. Mm -hmm. Um, that's all I have to fill out. Prior, okay. um, I have to where I know I'm going to be out for these many days, mm. and. And that's basically um it. And and was my work. So um so um and so I'll probably probably well know 
when it gets closer, I'll be out for this day and, and coming back for this day. And I probably don't know when it gets closer. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Sweet man. Did you uh did you text your wife to see or not? <laughs> your mom? <laughs> not bad, dude. That's okay. <laughs> did you text your mom? to see uh if she's if she's available if she's gonna be able to do it um she told me that she was gonna get she was getting ice before i before i jumped on and then she was gonna hop on um and those are what i seeing i heard from her okay um so she's doing that she was hopping on when she was going when she was on getting ice so nice yeah. Sounds good, bro. Yeah. How have things been going with her? Um, it's going pretty good with her so far. Um, okay. I talked to her last Sunday and and so far me her I've been getting warm getting warm so far and 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 so, and so when we heard in um your trip on Sunday or Monday, Sunday um this weekend, so so when we heard so far got along. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. It is so yeah. I'm so excited for this retreat coming up. Me too, bro. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is. It's coming like very quick, I noticed. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> I'm really excited. I know it's, it's going to be coming right after their, after their checking comments, I noticed. What was that? I said it's gonna be coming out to the shaking conference. Oh, are you, you are going? Yeah, I I'll be volunteering at it. Um, this coming Saturday. I'll be I'll be volunteering for the media ministry. Dude, that's awesome, bro. Yes, that's awesome. Are you gonna be there this Saturday? I don't know. I don't. I thought I had to be, but now I'm not sure if I have to be. So oh, gotcha. maybe I will and maybe I won't. So we'll see, brother. We shall see. I'm, I like having guys out during these conferences. That's that? double, I said I, I like helping guys out during the conferences. That's what God that. wants me to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, man. I think it's going to be really cool. It is. Wait, dude. Well, I do... <clears throat> Um, I have I have to call someone. Okay. At three forty-five. Okay. Ish four o'clock. So just so that you're. Okay. Just so that you're aware. Okay. Thank you so much, Jay, for me now. Hey, Amen. No problem. Yeah, she she told me that. What's that? Oh, uh, you can go what you're saying. Oh, I was just gonna ask you if you had a favorite football team. What were you gonna say? <laughs> uh, um, I was just gonna say something about my mom. Um um my favorite football team is is um the Green Bay Packers and the 49ers. What? Yeah. Packers fan. Yeah, I am. Nice, dude. Yeah, I am, yeah. 
That's cool. Where are yours? My favorite team is the Cowboys, dude. Wow. Yep. Cowboys fan. Sorry, man. <laughs> That's okay. What were you gonna say about your mama? Oh. Uh she told me that she was she was gonna get I was not sure uh how was how long it's gonna take. She just told me that she was going to get ice and she was gonna hop on and I'm not sure okay. um how long that's gonna take. Um because I called her at two fifty and and she told me that she she was gonna get some ice and then she was gonna hop on so so I'm not sure what's okay. happening. Sounds good, man. Yeah. I'm sorry it's taking so long. No, it's okay, dude. It is all good. Yeah. What time did you get back? Are you going to David's uh, Bible study after this? Uh, I, I was planning on it, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just didn't go last week because I was 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 tired last Monday, so I was planning to go tonight. Hmm, that's cool. Yeah. Man. yeah. So is he having his now every Monday? Every Monday, I think so. I think that's starting tonight. Okay. I could text him and ask him then. You can if you want. I just, I just want to make sure, because it, it used to be by weekly. I'm not sure if it changed to every week now or not. I am not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. <clears throat> what time did you get back home last Thursday? Um, I don't remember, dude. Do you remember what time I dropped you off? You dropped me off like around eleven thirty. Okay, I think I got home like around midnight then. Wow. Oh, I just feel bad for you for doing that for me. No, it's okay, dude. It happens. It does. It happens. But was Brittany upset? No, she wasn't upset. Okay, good, good. I was I wasn't trying for that to happen last Thursday. It just it just happened. Yeah. I know, dude. It's all good though. Thank how's you. your how's your YouTube channel going? It's going pretty good. Um I don't have still have 50 subscribers. I'm in noise anybody else um yeah, subscribing. Subscribing on there and and I'm doing my church service. My own church is on there. I'm doing my own Bible studies on there. And and I haven't gotten any more subscribers. And and so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you guys are getting more subscribers, and I'm not. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. And I do not know either. I'm not sure if I need to ask Danny this question or not. Should I ask Danny what question about the, the subscribers question on my YouTube channel? Oh, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know how you get the subscribers. You think Danny will know? You think, um, yeah, probably. I can ask him call and I see him next. Nice. Okay, I will. Yeah. yeah. Probably look at it. It might be because we have like a website too. I don't know, man. Maybe, yeah. I have no idea. That's true, yeah. That would be easier. Actually, I'm gonna. You don't mind. I'm That's gonna, fine. 
You can do your own thing. I'm gonna work on um our website a little bit because I haven't even Yeah, I, I know you guys have don't have the events calendar no more on there either. Yeah, dude, we have not done a lot with this. I know you guys this is a basically a blank website on there. I know this. Because I go on there every so often, and you guys don't have, like, events counted no more. You guys only have, like, small groups, and yep. you can add cards, and that's basically it. That's it? And, and about us. And about us, and that's it. Dang. Yeah, you guys don't have, like, a, like a events calendar or anything on there. Oh, that's lame. It is. Do you want the website now or or the swipe one now? Do I run what? The website. What Bible study? No, the website. Do you want the website now? Oh yeah, I do run the website now. Now we made this defense. Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, you were beside yourself. I don't want to make my own website. I don't know how much will cost though. What's that? Um, I mean, why make my own website? I just not sure how much it will cost. Oh shoot, I don't know how much it will cost either. Yeah. Who made your website? Did, did you uh, I think. I think Nick Weiss made it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So I just adopted it. <laughs> I just got a full on website. Oh, gotcha. Which is pretty cool. Is. Yeah, that's what I'm wanting to work into is get my own website. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, it will be. Nice, dude. We've been getting some. We've getting we've been getting quite a few people are, looking at our website too, which is pretty cool. Are you outside? Yeah, we've been we've had quite a few people look at our website. Oh wow! What? That's crazy. We've had two people from the UK look at it. Wow. One person from Brazil, one person from India, <laughs> one person from Iran, one person from the Netherlands, and one person from Singapore. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy, huh? It is. Dang, man, that's pretty cool. What is your website? Yeah, it's cool that I could look at all this stuff. No, it's probably is your website getting your subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, we've had 130 people look at our website this month. Or in the last 30 days. So I'll probably, I'll probably need to make my own website to get some more subscribers, probably. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Yes. All right, man. Yes. Do you want to text your do you want to text your mom again and see if she's if she's yeah, able to do it? I can call her and see what's going on. Okay. Sounds good, man. Let's see what's going on. What's your mom's name again? Um, her regular name is Jerry. J -E -R Jerry? Yeah, Jerry. J-E-R-I-I. -I. Hi, Mom. Mom? Mm -hmm. He picked up, I'm not sure she can. Mom? Hello? I'm not sure. Hello? Hello?
Hello? Hello? Hello? Mom, can you hear me? I'm not sure what's happening with my phone. <laughs> my phone's acting weird. Hmm. Oh, there she is. There she is. Yes. She's coming. Yes. Connecting. Connecting with her. Connecting with her. You should take your mave to connect with the audio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can, can hear you. Now. Okay, can you see me? We yeah. can see you too. Nice. Okay. Sorry, I've been real busy today. I'm going to be moving here in the next couple months, and I got somebody to help me do some heavy stuff. Oh, awesome. That's so. cool. That's why I am running a little bit late. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. How are you doing today? How's the movie? I'm doing going? good. Good. And what you is good? your name again? I'm JD. JD. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. What, what side of town are you guys moving to? Uh, I'm just moving around the corner from here, so I'll still be like a half a block from... um calvary on the east side i'm on Camino oh, cool. Seco. oh nice that's awesome Camino Seco Speedway. yeah sweet that's super cool and your name is jerry right oh exactly yeah i'm across the street from uh saguaro high school i oh, did that awesome. so laz would have it easier when he went to school and stuff yeah. so i could walk him you know when he first started in ninth grade and then uh after about The first week, he said, "Mom, nobody else, no other people have their mom walking them. <laughs> I don't want you walking me anymore." I said, "But last, <laughs> I said, so I said, okay, look, if I get a call from your school that you didn't show up, or you don't come home like you're supposed to at a certain time after school, then, um, then we're going to have to go back to me walking you. Otherwise, I'm going to trust you to do what you're supposed to. And he did. He did very good. That's awesome. So, yeah, he did good. So Sweet. did he explain some things to you? or? So he did. He explained that, um, that there have been some, I mean, I guess you could call them communication things going on where he has certain expectations that, Um, that aren't being met and just being able to communicate effectively with you is what it seemed to be the biggest issue as I talked to him but from your from your perspective where do you think things are at okay um hold on a sec oh there we go. um So let me kind of give you a little bit of um, update uh, on kind of where we're at right now. Okay. So a little over a year ago, he was on, so he'd been on some really strong medicine. Mm. Um, Concerta. I didn't realize it was a form of Ritalin because I did tell them in the beginning when he was about 14, I did not want him on that, mm. on Ritalin. So they said, okay, well, why don't we do so a uh, concerta? And so I said, that's not going to be causing, you know, he said, we can start slowly and see how he does. So he started to do well, but then um, as he got older, um, when he became an adult, what was happening is he would do fine in the day. And then at night he would get aggressive and, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So they wanted to put him on the vilify. But I didn't realize that because this is Ritalin with an narcotic, 
what he was doing every night was withdrawing every oh. night from his medicine. So they wanted to mask that with the Abilify. But what happened is it changed the whole dynamic of how this Abilify worked or how the medication worked. And within mm. a 10 minute period, he went from 181 to 114 pounds. Oh my and goodness. so I said, no, 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 something's wrong. So we had to take him off this medication. But uh, they wanted to do it in the hospital because this is such a hard medication to get off, but he refused. Mm. Uh, but oh, And it was. He was just getting more and more violent. It was getting to the point I couldn't even drive him. Um, he was grabbing the steering wheel, you know, putting his hands in my face, whatnot, pulling my hair, all that kind of stuff. So mm. um, I ended up having to have him go to CRC because my mom and dad lived here with us, too, and they're elderly, and uh, mm. there was issues there, too. And so... Was that and, was that the treatment in Phoenix? No, yeah. Well, it was a CRC. Um, okay. And the CRC, uh, he went to Sonora Behavioral Health, and he was there for about a month until they could find a place. They found it in Phoenix, which was Golden Heart Care. Um, then once uh, he was there, he was there about maybe three or four months, and then they finally found something here in Tucson, more permanent, which mm-hmm. is the uh, community options, which is like a – um, independent housing where they have staff there on site at all times. They can give them transportation to different places and um, and everything. So mm-hmm. um, here's your eye. Michael, oh, your ice is here. Um, so um, anyway. I, I'm on a counseling session with Laz, with the counselor. So it's all right. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. What? I could have just put those in the fridge. Yeah, I guess you could have. What, two bags of ice on it? One, one was free. <laughs> so, anyway, um, then, um, so that was kind of some of the Alexa uh, turn off. Um, and then he's been at community options. So mm-hmm. we're still having challenges. We did get him on better medication and I, and he's not on any narcotics. I don't ever do that again. Yeah. Um, and I will, uh, you know, make sure on that. Um, but he was born with uh, mild cerebral palsy. Um, seizure disorder then he had some ADHD as he was growing up and then um, he has um, um, two to micro deletion um, I guess it's something in his chromosomes that is lacking a little bit but it's a mild form so mm. um, that's what causes sometimes the aggression and also some of the mm. cognitive you know delays and stuff so I am his legal guardian um, but we do have issues where he wants to argue with me a lot about things or if I have to make a decision uh, or he'll ask me a question. Oh, well, maybe we can do that, but we're going to have to wait or plan it. And then he gets mad because he wants to do it now. You know, things like that we argue over um, or say I got to I take him shopping um, and I tell him, OK, you have a choice between this or this because you don't have enough money for both. And then um, he'll still want to argue about it and demand that he gets it and I'm like you know so things like that it's gotten difficult to communicate with him sometimes yes Hmm. so that's kind of a backup history or whatever so you kind of understand sort of where we're at Hmm. how often how often do you guys um like talk and communicate nowadays uh pretty much every day um, sometimes he'll skip a day of calling me, but, um, it's pretty much every day we do talk. Now, lately he has been, um, doing better, like talking on the phone and stuff, mm. um, and not arguing as much. I have noticed that. So that's been an improvement. Mm. That's awesome. What about, um, hanging out? How often do you guys, uh, like spend time together in person? Um, I haven't been able to do a lot of that because right, I'm trying to get moved and I'm trying to get this and that, but, um, 
eventually I want to be able to do, um, you know, at least once a week. That's yeah. what my goal is going to be once once I get all settled. Okay. So. Oh, and here's the Michael. Here's the. Those ones are mine. No. Oh, look, more for me? All right. I sales, so I thought I'd get me a set. Right, thanks. I want to make some. So Laz, how um, yeah, what would you what would you how would you communicate like the issues that you have with your mom? What would you say are the are the hard parts in your guys' relationship? Um the hard parts in my relationship with my mom will be will be um trying to think. Will be, um, uh, my mom, my mom arguing back and forth, and, 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 and my mom yelling at each other, and, and I think that's basically about it I can think of. Yeah. So when you when you argue with your mom, what do you think? How are you how are you feeling in those moments when you start when you start fighting with her and arguing with her? Um I can I would think of is is me um being be, me being disrespectful to her and rude. Do you like do you feel like she's not understanding you or do you just I, feel like not giving you what you want or what you need. Um, I think I think she doesn't. I think she's not understanding me. I think. Hmm. Because I do. I remember. I do recall the one thing that you did share with me, and this is yeah. something. This is something that he did share with me, Jerry. Is that um, okay? He felt. He felt like. You were choosing to spend time with other people and he felt like he I guess you could say didn't feel like he was important enough or valued enough for you to spend time with him um and the reality which is which is a really interesting like which I'm really happy that he was like able to communicate that that uh -huh. like that feeling and why he felt that way um okay but the reality Laz just based off of yeah. listening to your mom and like everything that she has done for you and yeah. continues to do for you like she it, you are very blessed to yeah. have a mom that loves you as much as your mom yes, does. Yeah. Um, and to have a mom that was that has been willing to do the things that that she has done for you, which is incredible that that your mom has been willing to do the things that she's doing. Um, what I would what I would encourage you to do, man, is yeah. in like recognizing just because your mom is busy right yeah. now doing things yeah and move and all these other things really trying to understand that perspective because it's not it's not personal it's not against you it's not because she doesn't want to see you it's not because she yeah. doesn't love you yeah. it is just it's just a, a season of life right now where she's going through where she's got a lot going on yes, um I agree. but also recognizing that there is like an end to it like this. She's going to be in a busy season forever. And um, generally, Jerry, how how long do you does the moving process going to take? Like, when do you think that that because um, I know that I know that. Last... Go ahead. 
Oh, I was going to answer, but um, you were still talking. Sorry. Oh, no, it's my fault. I I was I asked a question, then I started speaking. Um, I know that oh. Lab really likes to have like timelines and likes to have like dates so that he could which I've which I've recognized and just because I lead I lead the young adults ministry and Laz is one of our volunteers he's one of our our leaders there and so um so in my and I'm sure you know this you're his mom so you you know him like much better than I do um yes and I have given him, I mean, I've explained to him, you know, when he gets frustrated and says these things, I said, look, I'm really busy. I've got to get this stuff done. I have a time limit to do it. Um, and I've told him that because um, November um, is the last rent payment, mm. but December we have to be out. So I need to make sure I want to have time to clean uh, this four bedroom house and the right. backyard and the front yard. So mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take that last month to do the cleaning and I want to have everything out and done by, mm -hmm. you know, November, November. So this is September. So October. So I've got about a month and a half, um, almost two months to be able to get everything out of this house and figure it out um, mm -hmm. into storage, what I'm going to get rid of and, and where you know where I'm going to be going, putting it there. So um, anyway, um, I have kind of explained to him the timeline that probably by the time January comes, everything will start to kind of go back to normal, and I can see him more often. Also, I could probably see him more often, where he could come and maybe stay the night here and there, but. Uh, there are times where he gets aggressive and I just can't have that. And so yeah. I can't trust, I can't even drive him right now because um, I did try to drive him again. I tried a couple of different times and each time he gets mad and it gets dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, and it's over simple things. Like for example, we were going to go to um, um, eat, eat Taco Bell or something or Burger King. And I have coupons and I told him, okay, this is what I, I'm not going to be able to get you like a big meal, but I can do this, this, and this. And you still get like a sandwich because uh, we went on a Wednesday and you get um, a $3 Whopper. And then I was going to um, get him a fry that we could share because I don't eat a lot of fries. And then, um, and then, um, and I said, and we can have water with our meal instead. And um, he didn't want that. And he was getting mad. He wanted a meal. And I said, look, you already knew ahead of time um, that this is the way it was going to be. And you said you would be fine. But now we get here and now we're having this argument and I'm not going to have this. We either go in, you calm down and you do it the way that I can afford or I'm going to have to just take you home. And he continued to want to argue. So I had to just take him home or yeah. to his group home. And, um, so I, um, you know, I did that and then I went home. Um, and then the whole time he was berating me, you know, just mad, putting his hands in my face, uh, grabbing the keys, you know, and the ignition, it, it was just like, I would have to tell him, no, he was trying to take my phone, um, you know, and things like that. So it was real frustrating to try to drive through rush hour. Um, on the way down to, I guess it's Campbell and Grant. Hmm. So, um, and we were all the way over at 22nd and Golf Links because of the counseling session we had there with uh, his med review. And hmm. um, so he makes it very challenging for me to be able to fit him in a busy schedule like this. Because if I'm having to be able to tend to him and tend to this at the same time and try to include him, it makes it very challenging. So then I have to just sometimes say, okay, well, um, I have to get this done first. This has to take priority for right now. But then once I'm done, things can go back to normal. I can see him once a week. Because right now, like his uh, group home has to take him wherever and meet and then stay and visit and then um, and then they take him home because I can't drive him just yet. He's just not ready. Now, the goal has always been that we get him to where uh, we can get him back home. Um, mm -hmm. And um, 
but there are certain things that I was going to need from him. Now, right now he is in a work program with Beacon um, right. and uh, from the, in the program, uh, which was one of the things he either needed to be in a work program or a day program um, to have something to do during the day and not fester at home all day and then attack at night when I get home from work or whatever. So um that was one of the agreements. And also the other one is I wanted him to take some anger management classes, but he won't take them. He refuses. So um, okay. because I would like him to take that and then eventually they can bring me in so we can kind of work together and do better communicating. We were doing DBT classes, um, but the person um, who was leading them, um, she had to retire. So right now they have different people doing it and 